Multiplying and dividing scientific uh, notation numbers. These are the types of problems, like if you take a ACT, a college entrance exam, they throw these types in the parts where you can't use calculators. Um, and all it is is using the rules of uh, <coughs> exponents. Now, they would probably be, be a little easier than these, though, without the calculator. Um, but, like when you multiply two scientific notation numbers, remember when you multiply, if you have 4 times 3 times 10 times 7, does it matter what order you multiply in? No. You could rewrite it 10 times 3 times 7 times 4, you get the same answer. So, the same thing with these. You can rewrite this. It's this times this times this times that. So if you rewrote it, you'd put the 6.0, or just 6, times 2.4, times 10 to the third, times 10 to the fifth. Right. So using our rules, this makes 10 to the eighth. So it's going to be something times 10 to the eighth. So in order to figure out what it is, you've got to take 6 times 2.4. So again, usually they would give you just two numbers, like six times two, it would be easy to do without a calculator. Uh, but six times is, hmm. 14.4, okay? So that's not so tough. All you got to do is multiply these two and then use your exponent rules for those. But here's the part that is a little bit tougher. This is not in scientific notation right here. The decimal has to be after the first number. So what you got to do is you got to move this here, which means you have to change that. So it's going to be 1.44 times 10 to the, this is either going to be up one or down one. That's what you got to figure out. Would it be down? It would be down. Okay, why would you say you go up since you're correct? But you're moving to the left. Doing this to the left, yeah. You're moving to the left? Yeah, but that's not. But then you have to make it after. It's, it's a nine. Because then you would have to move it down. Oh, right. Yeah. See, here, if I moved it eight places, it'd get to the actual number, right? <clears throat> but if I moved it here, how many would you have to move it? Nine. nine. Does that make sense to everyone? So really what happened is when they moved it eight spots, they stopped one too quick. They should have stopped right here. So it's uh, to the ninth. That's usually the most confusing part. And it doesn't always end up like this. Sometimes the number does end up. Like if you had 2 times 10 to the third times 3 times 10 to the seventh, that would be 6 times 10 to the 10. And it's done because this made a number less than 10. So sometimes that does happen. Okay, now the next one, it's got this thing cubed. Right, so you can use the property. Remember, if this is cubed, that means you gotta cube everything. So 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. And then 10 to the negative 4th cubed is negative 12. So once you add the difference. Move it to the negative. So this goes here. Now again, this is a tricky one because it's a negative number. Negative 11. It would be negative 11. 
What you got to do on these is you've got to add. Like here we had 10 to the eighth, we had to add one to get to nine, right? If it's too far this way, you got to add. So I got to add one more spot. So negative 12 plus one. And again, if you think about it, since this was negative 12, that means from here to get it to the actual number, I'd have to move it 12 spots to the left, right? Well, if it moved to here, I'd only have to move it 11 spots, okay? Now the divide, it's the same thing. Now usually they don't put a divide sign like that. They write it as a fraction. So we do it just like the multiply, except what do you do to the two numbers? You divide them. So 5.4 divided by 7.2 is 0.75 times 10. Now, do you remember what you do to these when it's divide? No. Subtract. Negative 2 take away negative 8 is 6. Because remember your subtract rules. Change the sign, change the sign. So, remember on these what we had to do was add 1 because we're, it went too far. Here now, the decimal's gotta move this way. So what do you suppose that's gotta be? Five. Five. Because I'm moving it back that way. It's the complete opposite. If the decimal is to the right too far, you gotta add however many spots you gotta move it. If it's to the left too far, you got to subtract how many spots you'd have to move it. And again, if you stop to think about it, this means move the number six spots to the right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then fill in zeros. But if I move it to here, I'd only have to move it five spots. Okay? Huh? See, originally, the, the actual problem is you got to move it six spots, so it'd be... Seven, five, one, two, three, four, right? I moved it one, two, three, four, five, six. But now if the decimal is here, I'd only have to move it one, two, three, four, five spots. So, again, however you can remember it, if the decimal is too far to the right, you just add however many spots you got to move it. If it's too far to the left, you subtract however many spots you got to move it. So if you had okay, 235 times 10 to the fifth for your answer. It would be 2.35 times 10 to the seventh because I had to move it two spots because originally five means I'd move it five spots to the right but if I put the decimal here I'd have to now move it seven to the right same thing on the decimals if you had point um, zero six three five times ten to the seventh I'd have to put it there, it'd be 6.35 times 10 to the fifth. Because this means move it seven spots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if the decimal's here, I'd only have to move it five spots. You ready to get it confused? Okay, so it's multiply or divide. So that's the easy part. You just got to multiply the two numbers. You get 10.25 times 10 to the 10. So this one, the decimal should be there. 
So it should be 1.025. So you can think of it this way. I didn't move it far enough. It should have been there. So that means I had to move it one more. So that makes that 11. When you divide, again, sometimes you get easy ones like 8 times 10 to the 7th divided by 2 times 10 to the 3rd. 8 over 2 is 4. That would make 10 to the 4th. And it's done. It's scientific notation. Here, when you divide these two, you get 0.25 times 10. Now, remember what you do when it's a divide? You subtract negative 4, take away negative 7, is 3. So again, it's correct, it's just not scientific notation. So decimal should go there. And it's two, correct. What happened is they moved it too far. It should have stopped there. So that's why it's one less. Okay, got it?